What's up, what's up, wasabi? Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Beard Time. And in this one, we're gonna be eating this, the giant sashimi ice cream cone. Oh. First up, we're gonna have the uni, sea urchin, and the ikuda, or salmon roe. It looks fabulous. Served over warm rice. <laughs> looks fabulous. Oh my goodness. Mind if I show you the show you? Yep. Sure it's available in my store. Check it out, there'll be a link right up here. I'll show you the show you. It's a good one. I'm gonna go for this part right here. This looks good. Right in there. Just do the uni first, just the sea urchin, without any rice yet. Oh. It's so creamy. Oh my goodness. Try the ikuda. Oh, these are popping. Literally popping in my mouth. That's what I love about these. Definitely the most fun seafood to eat. Yep, ikura. These little balls just pop in your mouth. Mm. There's two different kinds of rice you can get. You can just get the basic white rice, or you can get it with vinegar. So I just went for the pure. I don't tend to like the, the kind of vinegar. I think it tends to take away from the flavor of the fish but Japanese people really like it, so. It's tricky to eat. I think a spoon would be better. Definitely tricky to eat with chopsticks. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> Just gotta go. Go hard. It's so buttery, this year. It's so fresh. Oh my goodness, and I used to hate this stuff, but now I love it. It's one of my favorite sashimis. Mm. I'm not worthy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ready for this next one. This one's a whopper. Check it out. Incoming. Oh, look at that. Lovely ice cream dish. Ice cream dish. Kind of does look like ice cream, doesn't it? These are shirasu, white bait fish, on top of rice. Same color as the rice, actually. The question is, where does the fish start? Where does the rice start? Yeah, you, the rice is coming over the top of the ball. That wouldn't be how it would be typically served. There's a, enough fish here for sure to go around. We're not complaining. <laughs> Feels like I'm eating a dessert. That's what it feels like. Here we go, all fish for the first bite. We have never had this much white bait fish. And this is cooked, so it's not that tough to eat. <laughs> that is tasty. It's naturally salty. It just doesn't really need that much show you on it. Just a mouthful of fish. There is a lot of fish on here. Oh my goodness. It's nice and chewy. It's a very nice fish. Yeah, well, how can I explain it? I can explain it. <laughs> it's messy. It's definitely messy. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's 
It's got a really nice chewy texture. A little bit on the fishy side, but you know, it's white bait. That's the way it's gonna be. Let's get in for some rice, if we can find the rice. Here we go. Oh. There's uh, shiso in here. There's a mint leaf inside here, which is kind of nice. I'll put a little bit more shoyu. Let's get some more shoyu on here and some wasabi in the next bite. Yep. I miss the wasabi over here. There we go. Going for the perfect bite. <laughs> oh, oh, spicy. Oh, that wasabi. This is some strong wasabi. You don't need a lot. Very strong wasabi. I like the mint on here. Oh, this is so delicious. I've never ate this much Shudasu white bait fish before. It's really, really good. Usually you just get a tiny, tiny bit. This is fabulous. I just love the concept of this restaurant. Just pour it on. My kind of place. I don't know why I never found this place before. It's not that far from my house. About 15 minute drive. Never knew it existed. Because it's new. It's brand new. Mm. So now we get to build it. This is exciting. We're gonna build it. Ready? Let's, let's make a masterpiece here. Yeah, definitely going for a masterpiece. This is definitely the most fun I've ever had with fish. Yes. Oh yeah, oh the avocado's messy. Somebody pinch me, this does not feel real. This is incredible. <laughs> How come I never knew this place existed? Why couldn't I have found this place 20 years ago? <laughs> oh. We're gonna call it Kaisen Donburi, or a sashimi feast, yes. <laughs> So many kinds of fish in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where do we start? Where do we start? Gonna start with the salmon. That's where we're gonna start. Right here. <clears throat> oh. Get some. Nice and fatty. Yes, fatty salmon, definitely one of my favorite pieces of fish. And this is the maguro, maybe my second favorite piece of fish right here. Mm. Pretty average. Mm -hmm. Let's try some of the egg here in the, in the spicy fish eggs together. Grab a little bit of rice. 
turn it into a salad. There we go. Mm. Oh, salty. <laughs> That's mentaiko. Yeah. Very salty, tiny fish eggs. This looks like Thai here. I forget the English on this one. Somebody help me out in the comments. What is Thai? I always forget. Oh, let's go for the shrimp. This beautiful prawn right here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You got to get the miso, the brains, too. So fresh. <laughs> like they just pulled it out of the sea. Mount potatoes need to show you. Mm -hmm. Mount potatoes in. What else do we have? Shrimp here. Look at those gooey potatoes. Huh. I'm just gonna pour all the show you on here with the wasabi and the crab brains too. Yeah, definitely crab brains for extra flavor. Good stuff. Sounds horrible, it really tastes good. Yeah, Kani miso, that's what the Japanese call it. Or ebi miso, tastes like miso. Mm. More of the salmon. Let's try the negi toto in the middle right here. Negi toto, see if we can get some avocados in this bite. There's some avocado. I should've got more avocados. Negitoto, it's this one. It's very mushy. I didn't used to like it, but I love it now. Mm -hmm. It's the only one that's minced. Try some of the okura. You see that? Put it in my mouth too fast. I absolutely love okura or okra. It's a bit crunchy at first and then it's gooey. Mm-hmm. And it goes good with these fish eggs. All right, did we save the best for last? This one's the only one I haven't had, I believe. And this right here is the Anko. That is that really grotesque looking bottom feeder fish. Anko. Maybe we can get a, uh, a graphic of that, Andy. The Anko, that weird looking fish. It's the one that's got the light on it like that. It's that fish. It's a freaky looking fish. You guys ever seen the angler fish? Have you ever seen it? The guy said, be careful, it might still be alive. Wow. He said, he said, don't touch the teeth. Here goes. Oh my gosh. It's like eating liver. Tastes just like liver. It's really gooey. It's uncle liver. Why couldn't I have, why couldn't I have got the meaty part of the fish? Oh. Punishing. Oh. Uh, okay. I've been defeated. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often, but I've definitely been defeated. Wow. Today is a very special day because we've got two desserts. The camera person's hungry, yes. So this is a preen here, or pudding. It's an Odawata preen, they're calling it, the uh, the area that we're in. It's gorgeous, I love the presentation. It looks like a fish bowl, doesn't it? Looks like there should be goldfish swimming around in there. Yep. So like a jelly or jello on top, and then the pudding's on the bottom. Interesting. Very interesting. And then this dessert here, this is called cream on mitsu. So the cream is the ice cream, and this is the anko right there. And then the mitsu is this, you put the syrup on top of it. Let's do that right now. I think we're gonna eat this one first because the ice cream might start melting. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh. Very traditional style Japanese dessert right here. 
Yeah, comes complete with a cherry too. Cherry on top. Cherry almost on the top. <laughs> okay, so the way it works is you gotta get some of the onco bean paste, the red sweet beans, you gotta get some of the syrup and you gotta get some of the ice cream and some of this right here. What are those things, the little jelly things? A lot of weirdness going on. A lot of weirdness. Jelly and jello. Red sweet beans. The ice cream's really good, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. I like the beans a lot. The beans are really, really sweet. Complete with the cherry. Dessert number two, the pudding. The gorgeous pudding. Do the jello on top first. I guess you can't really get all the way down to the bottom with this tiny little spoon. <laughs> oh. It's minty. It tastes like mouthwash. Well, it's proper because this is the last dish, so mouthwash might be good. It's definitely minty fresh. And this is the preen, the Japanese pudding. What is that going to taste like? I'll let you know. Ooh. It's that almond type pudding. Really creamy, like a vanilla almond pudding. Oh, this is good. Both of them together. I like this better. This is a really good dessert and it's so colorful. Yep. And after I'm done with it, I'm gonna take this fish ball home and raise some fish. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some shirasu white bait fish in here and raise them. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. The name of the restaurant is Totoko, and this is what it looks like. It's a huge building. It's kind of perched up on this platform overlooking the harbor in the sea. And this is in the Kanagawa Prefecture. Um, Orowara is the name of the place train station. Totoko Odawara. Yeah, very nice place. Yep. I'll definitely be coming back to this place. So on my rating scale between one and six of the Eric Beards, where are we gonna go today? Where are we gonna go today? Oh boy, it's getting feeling dry. Gotta add some beard oil. Uh, we're gonna go five today. Five out of six. It's a gnome a gnome. Yep. The quality of the fish was good. It's not quite six level. The novelty of being able to pick out your own fish and put it onto your dish and fill it up as much as you can was really fun. And the uh, the Shirasu, you know, mountain, that was pretty fabulous. I've never had that much white bait fish in my life. The two desserts were really good. And what else? The uni, the sea urchin was fantastic. Yep, and the salmon roe. So all in all, a really good meal. I really enjoyed it. I like the concept of this restaurant and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well too. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some. <laughs>